it, it dawned on me something had changed when they had three lava eruptions in Russia all on the same day and they, and there were there were red eruptions and a line of volcanoes all of them erupted on the same day and I knew back then I think it was 2011 2012 something was amiss on planet earth then came 2014 2015 Iceland Bartabunga largest lava field ever seen on the planet earth in modern day and Kilauea largest and longest lava field it ever left and they were overlapping eruptions there was other major eruptions happening too at that same time but nothing like those two Kilauea Bartabunga at the same exact time almost completely opposite sides of the globes are doing record things and of course we pointed out the huge increase in geyser activity in Yellowstone using geyser times and we went back they allowed us to go back to like 1980 to track the geyser intervals and now since we made that video guess what you can't go back so far you get the new normal not the old normal But anybody who's been to Yellowstone and filmed Geyser Basin knows that when all of them are erupting at the same time, that's not how it used to be. And some of the rare geysers have let loose this past decade, uh, you know, coming out of dormancy for a long slumbers, all of them coming alive, all of them venting. Many of them uh, just are now continuously venting. But... We don't predict an eruption. So what's going on? Well, many scientists officially uh, attributed what's going on with secular changes. Secular meaning earthly changes. But when somebody like NASA or USGS or the Smithsonian uh, give you an excuse as to why there's such an increase in volcanism, they're at least admitting to that increase. And there's such an increase that they feel compelled to make an excuse for it. But when they make an excuse, they admit that it's existing. And uh, it, it seemed like people weren't really that interested. We would make volcano videos. They wouldn't do near as well as the Planet X videos but it's all related and I don't understand um, now that volcanism has reached an all-time high those uh, secular changes it can't be just earthly changes why because we're seeing record volcanism happening on Io and uh, so what would all of a sudden just miraculously cause a sudden surge in volcanism just over a decade we see a huge surge in geologic time that's a blink of an eye yes they're used to average 60 volcanic eruptions per year that included the ongoing eruptions like Hawaii and it's also quite interesting that j just this past couple weeks just as uh, February and March uh, came to an end, we had 56 ongoing eruptions. Not so much ongoing, but on that day they were ongoing. 56 eruptions all happening on planet Earth on the same day. Well, when the annual average was 60, and on a single day you have 56 erupting volcanoes, and, and that's not a firm number, by the way, but it gives you a really good ballpark. But that gives you a really huge idea of just the incredible increase. And through studying this increase in volcanism, we could understand maybe all these past epics that where all of a sudden the earth just seems to explode and crack open and spill its 
its core onto the surface and and it really does uh, you can spend uh, an entire documentary exploring the causes and the factors involved in this monumental unprecedented modern day increase in volcanism and and no matter what the cause is no matter what you think it is the bottom line is it can't be secular uh, io alone tells you something is going on and when you have three lava eruptions happen you know volcanic eruptions weren't that common you know 60 a year isn't that many that's like five a month and six a month so how do you how do you go to 50 you know five or six a month to having 56 on a day single day 56 eruptions um so that gives you a really good breathtaking unbelievable look at the increase in volcanism and and it's it's unprecedented and we told you this was coming we we kept saying this is going to get worse and but we know it's it's not a secular increase it's not something that earth earth was in a nice systematic harmonic um stable very always reaching equal equilibrium type status the, what happened to earth to all of a sudden make it want to get rid of all its magma globally the entire world um and that kind of thing would be not secular but a solar system thing and they used the word secular when trying to explain away the increased ellipticality of the moon you know there are astronomers out there there are people who understand physics and when they see all of a sudden super moon after super moon when in fact that term didn't even seem to exist back in the 70s or 80s not like it does now we also we didn't have king tides back then if we had super moon back then we would have king tides back then but we didn't so the increase in ellipticality of the moon there's been some scientific articles about it and of course they tried to explain it away as soon as they tried to explain it away they admit that the moon was more elliptical and they called it a change so what would you know after centuries of very precise harmonic systematic you know equilibrium what would all of a sudden be introduced into a solar system that would change everything and and so they try to call it a secular change in earth causing the moon to be more elliptical i mean I, i'm not making it up uh, that that's actually uh, what was reported so we we think we know what is causing it but if we can't identify the cause and the relationship between how a brown dwarf in the solar system can create volcanism, then we can't then really tell you what's going to happen in the future. Is it going to decrease? Is this going to keep on increasing, decreasing? We have no clue if we don't understand what that relationship is between an extrasolar object and increased volcanism so we're going to do a documentary on that and then we're trying to put that together it's taking time everything is taking time every nothing is easy anymore and i apologize also on the, the patreon side i people have been giving me um sending me emails and i've been responding to those emails on my personal email account they were getting forwarded I thought they were getting forwarded back so there's probably I've probably sent out 150 re replies to questions that I do not think and I do not know if the patreon subscribers got them and so the former subscribers I'm sending them emails but I don't think they're getting them 
So if you're a former Patreon subscriber and you sent me a question and you didn't get an answer, uh, I have your answer. I'll screen capture it for you. But um, I'm apologizing. I'm, you know, trying to work all the bugs out. And uh, I do a very poor job of it, apparently. But stay tuned for that video. And people keep asking me about the interviews with the with the COVID patients. And there's so many freaky things um, that uh, are happening with COVID. Yeah, I mean, just Orwellian and unbelievable and losing sleep at night kind of a stuff. And so um, I am sending private links to some of those very sensitive videos just to the Patreon subs because uh, if I make them too public, um, they're going to hammer me. And so so it, when, when you do sign up, if you do sign up, uh, you'll get those links sent to you um, through the Patreon system and not through my personal email system, <clears throat> which I thought was linked. But apparently I'm getting just incoming mail. So it, it bothers me. It troubles me to think that people weren't getting my replies and they're thinking I was ignoring them. Um, but yeah, so if you, if you send a question, I'll send you the I'll send you the screen capture. It'll be dated. It has a timestamp on it. Uh, I answered uh, so many questions and, and even hundreds. So uh, that's kind of upsetting too. But what are you gonna do? Live and learn. So so to figure out what's gonna happen in the near future and the next two years are gonna be so crucial and. For, for humanity and and we're already in such uncharted territory uh, things are happening at a, a, a very blurring pace I uh, can't keep up and um, we're all sitting by and watching it happen so uh, I guess we're just all going to be along for the ride um, and hold on tight and pray a lot but to understand what volcanism is going to do um, we have to understand what that relationship is. So uh, we, you know, looked at every single thing that could be causing increased volcanism. We looked at all the research, and we've we've done this for years. So um, it's all there. It's all there. All the all the data. So until next time, be prepared, not scared.